Hello, my name is Eric George. I work at the Marshall Storeroom here in Marshall, Texas. And I'm here to show you my BMW i3 with range extender. I chose this particular vehicle because I couldn't afford a Tesla. It meets all my needs for my everyday uses and commutes. It saves me a lot on gas or fuel. My main reason for buying an electric vehicle was the savings on gas. Before I was spending nearly two to $250 a month commuting back and forth for work. Since buying the electric vehicle, I haven't noticed any increases on my electric bill. The features on this vehicle is that it meets my daily commutes every day, and it also has a range extender, which is like a, it's like a backup generator. So if my battery gets down to a certain percentage, it'll automatically kick in to make sure I get to the next location. The drive is incredibly quiet. It has instant torque. So as soon as you put your foot on the pedal, it takes off. Uh, most electric vehicles have what you call regenerative braking. So if you're driving, when you get off the pedal or you apply the brakes, it automatically regenerates electricity back into the battery. When you release your foot off the pedal, the car automatically brakes. And once you get used to it, you can actually drive the vehicle without even touching the brakes. Most electric vehicles have what you call preconditioning. So my car is scheduled to be at a certain temperature when I wake up in the morning and leave for work at like 6.30, and when I get off work at 3.30. So when I get into my car, it's automatically at 72 degrees. I uh, unplug my charger, head here, about a 30 minute drive, charge my vehicle here at work, and when I get off of work, it is fully charged and ready for me to go. My sister lives in the Fort Worth area, and I go there quite often, so it's not a challenge going to different places throughout the state. Well, in the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex, there are charging stations everywhere, level three charging stations. But in this area, the East Texas and Northern Louisiana area, there's not that many level three charging stations. So I do carry my portable charger, which you can go to any RV park in this area and charge if you like to. I get a lot of looks. People stare all the time, ask me how does you charge it, how far can it go? So it's a, it's a conversation piece my wife. I haven't got her completely on board yet, but I'm trying to ease her in maybe with a hybrid next time. I personally love it, and going forward, I would never buy another internal combustible engine myself. I would always drive an electric car from going forward now.